Welcome to Crawdaddy's Custom Crankbaits. Today I'm just going to play around, do this crawfish pattern in a new candy I've gotten. Uh, it's brandy wine. I, you know, I have no clue what color that is, but we're going to play around and see what we can come up with. A couple things I want to go over with. I went ahead and I primed it in white, and then I put a pearl white over it trying to give me a different tone went ahead and did my scale pattern or my shell pattern just to save some time but i'm trying a new mesh i got um got this at a uh, hobby lobby but that's what it is it was 4.99 um it comes 10 yards so i be, i have a a lifetime supply of it um but it comes in this big roll but if you go looking for it it took us forever to find it it's in the sewing department and don't ask anybody just look for it because nobody could tell me that everybody said they didn't have it but anyway this is the manufacturer or who puts it out and uh that's where i got it from is uh, hobby lobby they had it in silver gold uh, blue whatever color but i just grabbed this silver um, but that's what I put over my bait to do my, um, uh, crackling effect or my veining effect, whatever you want to call it. Um, but that's where I got it. And I picked up a roll of this, uh, to try and it's narrow. They didn't have it any wider, but it works great too. Um, but both of these I got at Hobby Lobby, uh, yesterday when it was raining. Like I said, I went ahead and I uh, got this thing ready just to save some time. Got my candy mixed up. Put some in the airbrush. As I said, I, I really don't know what this color is. So, you know, but let's play around and see what we can figure out. I'm really going to try to keep this bottom white, so I'm going to try to really be careful on this one. Uh, make sure I don't get it any below that line, but I'm just going to start off on the top. Really, this is just the base of really telling me what it's going to look like. But all I'm doing is putting thin layers on it. I had a question last night about candies. You know, they, I don't know if I've confused them or, or what about candies, but I put candies on everything. I don't care if it's flat, if it's a metal finish or what. It, it, it gives you a different tone, different color, no matter what you put it on. Um, it's gonna be different. The lighter base of the metal look or the you know, the shiny look that you have is going to give you a different color. If I put this on a darker metal color, it's going to give you a darker color. Uh, it's one of the things you just have to play around with. I'm new to candies. Uh, I enjoy painting with them. But it's still a learning process for me. I, I, I don't know whether you're supposed to heat sink this, this stuff or... Uh, oh my God, heat dry it or not, but I do. So far, it's not messed up anything, so I'm gonna continue doing it. I'm just gonna try to bring this down real light. Don't wanna go real dark. I come down my shell pattern, follow my shell pattern a little bit.
and really doing it really lightly. Trying to build it up to see what I have. You always make it darker, but you can't take that darkness away, so you just build it up slowly. And you think that you're to the point where you won't be done, stop. Like I said, you're really not gonna know until you pull everything off and look at it and you might say, oh boy, what did I do? But that's just part of doing this and that's the fun of it really, trying to create something that's different. Let your imagination run wild. pull that netting off. I'm not going to clean my airbrush yet, but I am going to heat dry it just There, what you have. As I said, I didn't go real dark on the sides with it because I didn't want it really overbearing this. I want it more on the top that you can really see it. Um, I'm going to come back in with this color a little bit and try to come down around the shell patterns, I think, a little bit more. I scratched the bottom out of this thing too bad.
this out in the airbrush. I've got a little bit of white that I had left over when I primed it. Just gonna take this and try white on it this time instead of doing black. some white to it or that's going to be nice then.
This is the only thing when you're doing the netting, you can get a cool effect. But this is a chance you take, it will take your paint off so quickly. how you try to do it so easily but it will take your paint off before you know it as I said I don't know what color that is clean this out of my airbrush real quick take a little bit more black ink and darken around the eyes where the overspray of that white went up there. As I said, for all I know, that thing could be pink. I don't know. I don't know what it is. pink I guess my wife's gonna have a pink plug but there you go that is brandy wine over just pearl white that's that's all that is um, that's the color it gave me um, go ahead and take the tape off real quick try not to scratch your paint I'm going to leave the belly white on this one. Well, before I do that, I'm going to have to come back and put, I'm going to do it off the camera, but I'm going to have to come back and put some more pearl white on there before I take the tape off. But anyway, that is, uh, like I said, brandy over uh, pearl white. I did some white dots. They kind of look pinky to me. I didn't get a full dose of it just to try some white dots instead of black. But anyway, that's what I had from Crawl Daddy's, you know, just to have a good time and try to show you where what a, the netting comes in effect and how you can use it. But thanks for watching Crawl Daddy's and please uh, like and I hope you subscribe. And until next time, thank you for watching Crawl Daddy's.